Hello guys, welcome to my channel. I am Aries, my name is Chelsea, and this is the channel where we do all Aries readings. And today I'm going to be doing your daily reading for August 17th, 2021. I have to remember what today was. Today is the 16th. So tomorrow, this is for your message tomorrow, August 17th, 2021, okay? I hope you guys are well, doing well, staying healthy, spiritually, physically, and emotionally healthy. It's all important. They are all important. I don't neglect any one of them. Let's just make sure these cards are right. Okay, if you guys would like a personal reading from me, the details are in the description box. Okay, and if you would like to enter for my monthly giveaway, those details are also in the description box. And all you have to do is let me know in the comment section that you would like to win, and I will give you a green check mark. Please make sure your notification bell is checked so you can um, get a notification of when I go live to show you guys what we will be I will be giving away this month. Okay. So, and that'll probably be Wednesday. So be looking out on, I think they open, there's somewhere I have to go to go get something. I think they open on Wednesday. So sometime Wednesday evening. All right, let's start with a guardian angel message here. And there will be two winners, okay? I have to say that too. All right. <laughs> There'll be two winners this month because I did take so long, but just make sure you're still entering. Let's start with a guardian angel message today and see what messages you need from your guardian angels. If there's a situation that has been heavily burdening you or on your mind, you know, think about that situation a little bit right now so you can get the clarity and guidance you need. All right. What is Aries Collective or whoever's watching? What is the spirit message for them today? All right, so at the bottom of the deck, we have guilt. So there might be some sort of guilt energy here, but nonetheless, the guardian angel message is breakthrough. Let me show you the card first, okay? So it says, how many beautiful heartfelt wishes have been crushed by fear? How many times has society's voice of disapproval cast a shadow on your dreams? It is time to break free of these false beliefs and release and release and realize your dreams. Allow your heart to guide you. Trust your inner guidance. The time is right. Okay, excuse me, coughing. So I'm going to pull one from your this here is the Angel Answers Oracle deck. All right, all the decks that I'm using are linked in the description box. All right. All right, so what Angel Answers messages do you need? All right, so at the bottom of the deck, we do have romance here, and we have improving health. Okay. Let me pull one more card here. I'm going to use the Star Seed Oracle deck today. Shout out to my girl Crystal for this beautiful gift. Let's see what message here that we have. Okay. So that was an interesting message right there. It fell out while I was still shuffling. But... All right. One more. All right. Let's see, let's see here. What do the Aries Collective needs to see for today? All right. So it says the seeds of Mintica, seeing potential, bringing unconsciousness to light. All right. So somebody here is seeing their potential or finally feeling it that or stepping into that higher power here with this breakthrough energy here. I feel like someone is probably finally stepping out of their comfort zone, doing what is a little scary, right? Somebody's doing something that may be a little scary, but they're moving towards a goal, a very significant goal. Also, I feel like with this improving health message, I had that message for you guys. I don't know. It just something told me to just say that just you know, make sure everybody's taking care of themselves. All not just your physical health, but your mental health and your emotional health as well. Make sure that you're checking in with people. You know, don't you don't have to go at this alone. 
Okay, I actually wanted to get on here and talk to you guys about uh, a message that came up that I was going to actually post on TikTok, but I didn't. But something this morning told me I still need to speak about this. And it's kind of like um, it's about inter interdependence. And I'll talk about that on live later. But sometimes people try with this improving health. Sometimes people try to do everything on their own or they feel like they can only they, they need themselves to depend on by themselves. It's OK to depend on other people. It's okay to ask for help, okay? Um, it actually shows your strength in being able to ask for help or to depend on other people as well, all right? So I feel like somebody's burdens have been very heavy, all right? And the load is finally lightening up, okay? With this improving health card here, this could be spiritual help. It could be emotional help. I'm feeling really strongly mental health. Um, it's giving me a little bit of anxiety, just, you know, this card, this energy here. So let's see. What is the message for Aries for August 17th, 2021? All right. What is the message here for Aries? Yeah, four of cups here. There is an offer. There's a gift. Sometimes it's a missed opportunity here. Somebody here may be thinking about things that have happened to the in the past. Somebody might be in their feelings and their emotions. This is cups energy here. So somebody might be very deep in their emotions. It even seems kind of like pouting a little bit, being angry. And that whole time that they're like that, look at the bottom, there's a tower, there's a breakthrough. The whole time that they're like that, they can't see what is being offered to them. They can't see what the universe is trying to gift them. And you know, with these cups here, it could be people. Could be people around you. It could be, you know, people who are here to help. An emotional, I'm getting emotional support system as well. Let's see here. What is the um, challenge for Aries for this situation? The Nine of Wands, being guarded, keeping your defenses up. This is that wounded warrior energy, the very defensive. Um, energy. People who have been hurt in the past because of toxic situations, they tend to sometimes be very heavily guarded here. We have the vice from spirit here is the Page of Swords and the Knight of Wands here. Page of Swords can be very inquisitive, wanting to know, learning, childlike energy. Sometimes it's immature here, but the King of Knight of Wands is a little bit more mature, but it's, you know, very passionate energy, wanting to move forward and take action here. So maybe, you know, Spirit is saying that you should move forward and ask questions, ask for help as well. Don't be afraid to do that. What is the near future? What is the outcome? All right. So we have the Five of Swords. This is that mental conflict here. Trying to win. Trying to do it all on your own here. Okay. Sometimes this is a narcissist card because this is somebody here who only thinks about themselves, right? The only the outcome for themselves. They don't really think about anyone else, right? Only trying to win at a certain situation here. At the bottom of the deck, we have the lovers. So it could be Gemini around you as well. I don't see any major arcanas here. So I don't feel like this is a, not that it's not a strong message, but I don't feel like this is anything that can't be changed. I don't feel like this is anything that can't be worked through with just a little bit of knowing. Sometimes, you know, people think that healing uh, when you're healing or you're trying to heal yourself during through, through different s situations that it just it's this whole you know elaborate thing and you just have to do all these rituals and you have to do this and that and, and whatever else and sometimes those are good sometimes those are what you know situations call for but sometimes it's simply just looking at what the problem is looking at what the universe is trying to show you accepting it and saying, okay, yeah, I have a problem with this. And then moving on. That Sometimes that is as simple as healing can be, okay? I think sometimes we try to make things more difficult because that's just what we do as humans. What is the Four of Cups? Yeah, the sun. See, if this person here wasn't so deep in their emotions, so deep in their feelings, so caught up to in whatever happened, they'd realize that this cup here... It's bringing in some very positive energy. This cup here, it might be a helping hand. It might be an offer of love, literally. Um, but it's bringing in very, very positive energy, abundance, success. But because, you know, someone, whoever this is, if this is you, Aries, is very caught up, 
you know, in what was or what is wrong or what happened, they don't see the opportunity in this lesson here, in this breakthrough energy. Let's see what the Nine of Wands is. This is the challenge. All right, so it's the King of Pentacles here. So maybe you might be dealing with an Earth sign, Capricorn, um, Taurus, or Virgo here. Somebody who's heavily guarded. Um, somebody who's very... Um, independent, right? King of Pentacles here is very independent. They have everything that they need on their own. But at the same token, they're here. They're very guarded here, okay? They may have been through a lot in their life. Aries, this could be you as well. I feel like this might be talking about business and a situation here. You feel like because you've come so far, that you've, maybe you know so much that um, you don't need any help. It's a very defensive energy here, though. Let's clarify um, the King of Pentacles. See who this could be. Six of Swords here. So someone here may be moving away from this person or trying to move on in a more peaceful manner here. Three of Swords. Yeah, there was some sort of heartbreak here. So this is coming up as a person. This might not be you, Aries. So this is a challenge. Somebody's dealing here with an earth sign. They're trying to move away from this person, but it's been very hard. It's been a very long process here. And if you're not necessarily moving away from this person, you're trying to get to a better place, okay? You're trying to get on solid ground here. What is advice for spirit? King of Wands energy, okay? So now we have two kings here. This is taking control of the situation, being a leader as well. All right. Taking the knowledge that you know about whatever this situation is. <coughs> Excuse me. And helping, you know, reaching back and helping someone as well. What is the five of swords? The two of cups. So this looks like a strained relationship. So the two cups talks about you know, a mutually, mutually beneficial relationship here. See, two of swords here. Somebody is blocking something. It seems, okay. All right. So I kind of see what message is going here. It seems like there is conflict maybe within a relationship. It doesn't always have to be a romantic thing, but it can be. Or Aries, you're dealing with somebody here who is like this, maybe stubborn, four of cups here, rejecting an offer, rejecting help. Or this could be you, literally you. But the outcome here in the near future, the five of swords and the two of cups, it's the energy here of somebody who wants to be right. They want to win. And they want to do this at the sake of the relationship. Or if this is a business relationship, is this a family relationship? Is this a lover's relationship? They want to win and they want to do this at the sake of a relationship. So you have to stop and think sometimes, is this worth it, right? Is it worth it here to, you know, always have to be right? Is it worth it here to, you know, somebody, this is somebody else trying to get over on you to keep yourself entangled with this type of person here? Okay, so... It, it's clarified by the chariot here. So it's moving forward. So spirit might be saying that it might be time to just at least move on in a positive direction here. The star card here, very healing energy. Yeah, moving away from this five of wands is drama. Five of pentacles is lackful energy here. Drama is lackful energy. Okay, let me just tell you that. Because if somebody has time to argue and bicker and do things of that nature your mind is not on your money right your mind is not on your pinnacles your mind is not on your success your mind is not on your coins if you're holding a grudge your mind is not on your coins your mind is not on your pinnacles because if you know anything about the universe and vibrate that you know the vibration of money that is not it okay holding grudges will block your success and your abundance every single time no matter what's going on every single time Okay, so I don't know who's this message for. This message is kind of like all over the place, but it was a lot of messages here, right? I feel like Aries that you are, there's this like separate message. You are going through some sort of breakthrough, some sort of epiphany here. And maybe because you're releasing the situation and walking away from this toxicity here, I do see it's kind of toxic with the nine of wands, you're going to elevate, okay? You're going to be okay. You're going to be in a more peaceful place. Now, maybe someone else 
might be still stressing. They might still be trying to plot and scheme on how to beat you at whatever this is or how to overcome the situation. But Aries, you're going to be moving forward here. You're going to be moving forward in a more positive direction. We even have the lovers here at the bottom of the deck. So it could be a choice between two people. I'm not really feeling that. But if it is a choice between two people, it's you leaving somebody in the past and moving forward to something else that's less drama filled. Okay. So that's what I have for you guys today. I will be doing posting the Cancer and Aries video later on today. So I'll talk to you soon. Bye.